Welcome to the Super Facts Show on the Super Facts Network. Featuring St. Laz, who also hosts the popular web series Gem Pop and music journalist Mark Walter Ward. They have discussions about hip hop, culture, society, philosophy, and everything else. Now available on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcasts. What up, world? This is Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. It's your boy, Mark Waldo Ward. In an immaculate, sleepy bear tea, we got on social media at 504 Fiend, the legend. Fiend, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing good today, young Mark. What's pop? What's pop? How you making out today, bro? Man, I'm, ha- I'm, I'm hanging in there. I've been uh, uh, seeing, you know, Fiend just dropped that album, TGIF. Thank God it's Fiend, available on all digital streaming platforms. You can get physical copies on sleepybeartees.com. It's, I mean, you know, all Fiend projects and National Jones projects are good, but 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 this one seems to be cut above. So Fiend was gracious enough, enough to join us to go track by track through the album. But uh, before we get into that, just real quick, have I mean, it seems like it's definitely getting more media attention. Do, do you perceive getting a bigger reception to this album than some of your more recent projects? Um. It's this one, this definitely is getting a lot of attention. But I can honestly say that um, everything is right on time or where it needs to be, you know? Word, like, no doubt. I'm, like, I'm not, I'm not, you know, worrying about who didn't see it. I'm happy that they are seeing it. Now yeah. I need to hear from the thing is here from make it better out there, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? But, you know, I just figure like a diehard fan base. Or people that started from day one, you know what I'm saying, needed some music and we all needed something going through what we went through for 2020. Yeah. You know, something we all been through something together on, you know, just this year alone. You feel me? Word. And so last thing before oh, you know, you know, these headphones are right quick. No doubt, no doubt. These headphones are right quick. And while he's doing that, man, go check that album out. Spotify, Apple, wherever yeah. you listen to music at. I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's some DJ Paul, man, um, Paul Wall, um, Fendi P. But yeah, so, 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 so now, now that you're ready, one last thing before we get into the album. You know, yeah. we, 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 we put this episode off a couple times, and you know, because you're busy and you and you working with the live band. And I seen you put a clip on, on your Instagram of, with, with the live band. And man, man, that sounds phenomenal. What, What's going to go on with that? Is there going to be a tour, an album? Thank you. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? Very yeah. And um, I'm just expressing, you know, other vibes that we all have planted within us, you know what I'm saying? Being so close to the culture, um, we're just prepping for touring, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, thank God it's seen this album, it's soul, it's rock, it's, it's jazz, it's funk. You know what I'm saying? It's hip hop, it's country rap songs, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all kind of vibes. It's EDM, it's, it's all kind of vibes, you know what I'm saying? Well, Trans, a lot of little specs and stuff. And um, we're just getting ready to get up to school. You heard me shout out to the Grid Band, uh, who I worked with. Uh, shout out to 35 PSI Band that I worked with. And shout out to the band I'm working with now, the Navigators. You heard me, the Gators. You feel me? We um we're just cooking up man this presentation to be able to let you really process what what happened in a even more live sense. You know what I'm saying? And um yeah, I mean like this project is big homie music, like the medium. You know what I'm saying? It's just young rap music or young hip hop and it's just more just that. And it's very little of legends or very little of mature or big homie artists that are relevant or doing something that could bring something, at least get enough light to focus on them wanting to bring something to the table. You know what I'm saying? Or it's known to too preachy, you know what I'm saying? Not judging anyone on how they took up their, their back, you feel me? I just thought that this was my version and the people that I was uh, blessed to work with to be able to do this, to bring something to the table. And like, it's a special something. I'm just happy to be a part of it, you feel me? I know God, my ancestors is working. I know all them lessons that I accepted as lessons instead of losses was put towards something, you know what I'm saying? For me to express this and be a bridge and kind of doing a vibe that 
that's possibly what you need, you know what I mean? I mean, I hope I get to see a show, and I hope NPR is smart enough to give you all a tiny desk. Oh, it's all good. We'd be honored if they did I'd give them the uh, the best version of us. You heard me, Congo Square and rap form. Louis Armstrong Horn is a rap. Like, listen to the Never Brothers in the Trap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Word. All right, so let's get let's get into the album. The, the first mm -hmm. song, yeah. Catfish. That, that that was an interesting ending. Is, is there a different artist at the end? There's, there's a, a deluxe version of this album coming out. And that particular joint character produced by myself, being that uh, Rick, you know, one of my aliases as far as within the industry, you know what I'm saying? It was just uh, definitely that, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like this. So who would be coming next? So that was the whole goal of walking into this, this, this audio movie, you know? I mean, not that, that 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 song was hard as hell. Like, like it definitely reminded me when I first heard your music. Cause like, you know, I I first heard the uh, what was it, Big Boy Records? Yeah. Yeah, I heard you know, and like it, like how aggressive you were stood out at the time, and 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 you know that reminded me of that. And then also like that line you said, the maintainer is is the new balling. That that's 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 some wise words right there. Yeah, man, it's um. I, I, I can just say it was it was influenced by beyond like uh, art imitating life. But as you can tell, our brother Nipsey was on the same kick as just reworded, you know what I'm saying? From, you know, and sprint, it's a marathon, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to just keep all these different vibes and um, these perspectives going. Don't exhaust yourself like that. You know what I'm saying? You got so much more to go to, you know what I'm saying? So then, I mean, the Special Vibes definitely describes number two, Survivor's Anthem. You know, mm -hmm. this song is not only like been, you know, real life inspirational to cancer patients, but I mean, it's a right. great song to work right. out to. Right, right. I mean, obviously you had to be going for that effect somewhat, but did you anticipate it to have such a such an impact? I mean, but th th this was released before the album came out. And just the, the the amount of people that were offering like testimonies basically on social media right. to the impact that that song had on them, you know that, that that's not typical. That was a special thing. Like I said once again, I'm out to just you know what I'm saying. This is just an expression of what I'm going through. This how it vibrated out me, you know? and um, I just so happened to turn that into uh, spindle that into something so positive instead of something so negative. You know what I mean? I'm all, uh, you know, we're from the deep south, you feel me? So we believe in turning lemons to lemonade. My outlook on it is I was going to turn lemons to own a farmer, you heard me? Or make it, you know, let it bon ton, you know what I'm saying? Relay, you know what I'm saying? But make it bon, make it good, you feel me? Let the good times roll out of no matter what life pitch at me. It's all about my reaction. So Survivor's Anthem is just that. A Survivor's Anthem, pain don't last forever. Only one is good, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is my children and me talking. This is, this, is, this is my wife and me talking. This is my mom and me talking. You feel me? This, is, this is my attitude without getting caught up in, 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 um, in what ain't. Let's focus on what is and keep and keep it moving and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And by the time you look up, it'll be the legacy or it'll be the, the this house or this, 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 uh, this fortune. It'll be whatever that you your end goal is, but most important, you have to practice to keep moving, stay strong, and make it through. If you understand the best that you can, you know? yeah. I mean, it the the, the the way you worded it, you know, it, it, it's almost like a how-to guide. Like like that that that's that's definitely an important song. I, I hope it continues to have 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 that this impact going forward. You know, it's a mantra. You know, it's a, it's a it's a mantra. You know, what I'm saying I've been fortunate to have different types of serenity and peace within, you know, when the so-called world team on fire. You know what I mean? Right. So um, we can't on last forever only when it's good. It's my mantra. You know what I'm saying? It's my mantra. You know what I'm saying? No matter what I'm going through, I need to make it home. You know, no matter how tired I think I am, I need to make it to my destination. You know what I'm saying? No matter how tired I feel like I am, there has to be something in preserve, in reserve for me to get up and bring my kids to school. Like, you know what I'm saying? For me to get up and, and to have enough strength to feed 
my children tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like, so these are things I hope to bottle up into an audio MP3 file, wave file, so, so when people could just uh, activate their superhero within them. You know what I'm saying? To make right. it where they need to go. You know what I'm saying? Survive. Don't let their gangster down for who they need to for grandma, for mom, for auntie, for uncle, the person that you looked up to, that you looked up to, that's been there for you, that now they need you to be 100% of you to reciprocate that, you know what I'm saying? So that's what survivors Anthony. And shout out to everyone that has survived 2020, whether you had to be there to be the shoulder for somebody to lean on, or you just making it out, period. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I salute you. I, I commend everybody, because 2020 was a joke everybody shared. You yeah. feel me? So um, here we are, 2021, and this is how we swing in our act, knocking the whole forest down to get where we got to go. You know what I'm saying? Um, which, in this analogy, no harm will get made the trees, you know what I'm saying, in the process of this conversation. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, bro, that's the survivors. And then shout out to all the cancer survivors. Shout out to all the, the COVID survivors. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to anybody that just woke up this morning and say that they want to make the day better than yesterday. Yes, sir. And right, the next song, 448, featuring DJ Paul. I mean, that, that finds you and Paul at, at, at the top of your games. Uh, outstanding song. Um, What's 448? 448 is the exact amount of how many grams is in a pound of weed. Ah. You know what I'm saying? So that's his hustle talk. You know what I'm saying? From the 448, he's got brand new license plate. House with the lake. You know what I'm saying? I used to skate. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just old to everybody. Even the pastor hustled. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. the pastor uh, uh, oh, moved his weight to make himself get forward. So it was just an analogy. You know what I'm saying? And also just the hustle talk that I thought we could have some fun with on some street stuff, but it ain't so in that field. You feel me? That you could be like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm bro. Yeah. yeah. So that's that new slick talk. You hear me? Uh, shout out to them boys out there that knew what it was off the rip. Shout out to everybody that's just learning. It's just about a way for us to connect. And this is how hip hop's supposed to be. Country rap tune, Southern rap music supposed to be. We're supposed to learn something new. Like, you know what I'm saying? What's the new? Lango, what's the new talk and shit? So yeah, shout out to my boy Mark for asking a real question. Okay, big dog. So what what that's about? Man, yeah. d- bro, I, I done did time for weed and I didn't know that, so shit. But um, do you yeah. do you remember the first time you heard three six mafia music? Uh I think I think the first time I heard three six mafia music could have been set of clubs up. Yeah, but that, that who run it. That who run it made me. That who run it made me say, like, oh my god, I love this production. Yeah. Not to take nothing away from my people, because these are my people. These are my brothers. Like I just, I didn't. Get, I was so consumed with what I was doing at the time. I didn't get a chance to hear, you know, a bunch of whole other stuff. I had tunnel vision on working on making sure at that time. Doing no limit, whether it was big boy, whether it was worth the weight, you know, whatever, whether it's Holly Grove Records, that's what my focus was. Plus, so, I mean, the industry made it kind of hard to find their music too. Well, at, 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 earlier in their career, or at least well, on the East Coast, but for sure. Well, they were independent, and it's like when they got on loud is when I started seeing them. Yeah, because see, it's about how visible can you be, right? You hear me. POP proper placement, you know, product placement. So it's about how visible can it be? Shout out to live music and the Rifkin family for stepping in, knowing great talent when they heard it, whether yeah. they crunched the numbers or just saw it for themselves. Shout out DJ Paul, shout out to Juicy J, Crunchy Black, uh, rest in peace, Lord Infamous, Poop Snicker, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, the Chat, Gangsta Boo. Fraser Boy, Lil White. Yeah, Fraser Boy, Lil White. Thank you for that, man. Shout out to everybody that came across on that sound and that production. And shout out to the whole state of Tennessee, you hear me? Because, you know, a lot of soul come out of out the 901, period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Nashville, too. You feel me? Knoxville. 
I just think that um, I love knowing that that's just one other layer of the South. Yeah. I love that about hip hop. I love the overall picture of hip hop. And I like, I love the Liz West Coast. I love the Liz East Coast as far as the personality and textures of where people are from. Right. Okay. You know, you got Compton, probably music, Inglewood music. You know what I'm saying? You probably Long got, Beach uh, music. Long Beach. See, I, I dig that. Those I do fabrics too. of who people are. And I think that um, the more we, I, I, we always, uh, emulate the greats and show uh, respect and um, you know what I'm saying, kind of, you know, uh, refurbish some things to make greater music, but I salute and want to shout out everybody that gave us the layers and textures of what they're from to appreciate knowing about certain neighborhoods because of the music, knowing about certain dialect language because of the music, Trick Daddy, 305, you know what I'm saying, JT Money, Two live crew poison, okay, you know, yeah. just to shout out a few. I'd be forever. I'm a hip hop baby. You heard me? Like, I, I, I love all <laughs> sides and facets of areas of rap, hip hop, soul, jazz. You know what I'm saying? Like, funk. You know what I mean? R and B. And I like to hear the music. It's like cooking. You know what I'm saying? You gonna know the difference from my my spoon in my in my in my in my, in my season game. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. So this I like that about the Three Six Mafia, uh, hypnotize my brand and sound. Yeah, you know, definitely. to that production. Good shit, homie. All right, so you know, ne next uh, which is one of my personal favorites, is uh, make UGK proud. So you know, I, mm. I guess I guess obviously you know you heard J Cole make Nas proud, and I know you had a personal relationship with Pimp. You, where you made songs with UGK. I hope that unreleased song uh, comes out one day. But um, what made you choose UGK as a group that you would want to make a song and make UGK proud as opposed to make NWA proud or make Public Enemy proud? Or this, That's a great question. UGK was not only one of the biggest influences in hip-hop music, they were uh, not only one of the biggest hip-hop influences in Southern music and, and rap culture, they were, got, they, were, they were and are my friends. R.I.P. Pimp C, Long Live Bum B. Like, these are my friends, you heard me? So it made me already, you know what I'm saying? Stop Julia Belger for putting together that book, still keeping Pimp name running going on like that, you know what I'm saying? See, my thing was, shout out to J. Cole for doing Make Nice Proud. I, now that you saying it, I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of that song. But that yeah. just go to show you, like, you know what I'm saying, how dope hip-hop is. My thing is, Synchronicity. To some people, right. Some to some people, Jay Z gonna be, you know, that person that motivated them, um, which is a person that motivates me too. But I had to shed some light on when I heard this production from the regime. You know, some I I got a tight knit of producers that I was working with, listening to music, you know, working on the sound of the project, and this was something that instantaneously made me say, this would have this would have been UGK all day. In my eyes, if I was able to say, pick up a phone and say, you know, I said, but it's on your lap right now. So what could you do with this beat other than make UGK proud? You know what I'm okay. saying? And that was my goal on coming with that. You feel me? Son, go get you a towel. Go get you a towel, right? And I want you to stretch before you get in the pool, yeah? All right. Have you so, got any feedback you, from Bun B about it? Uh, you know, um, not in detail just yet, but I may have an answer for you on that real, real soon. So stay tuned on that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe on Fiend Show, who got that fire? Hey, man, you never know. You know what I'm saying? But just know that uh, my friend and my, you know, one of my heroes is going to easily be able to get a whip of that. I sent it to Scarface just so he can check out the project. I sent it to Bun, and I'm hoping they get a chance to check it out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it exists, it's real energy, and I know it's going to, my sincerity about what I mean by it is going to get everywhere. It's already spreading like wildfire. You know what I'm saying? Organically. Yeah, now that, so that, that, that video is dope. 
For sure. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. So, video was uh, directed uh, by LD Visuals and myself. And uh, shout out to him, Trey. Um, Trey Day Visuals. Um, shout out to uh, Daniel. Uh, shout out to Shout by David G. Uh, Marcus. You know, shout out to. I see uh, BCP Brandon was there. Um, oh, that, oh my god, that, man, I see so much stuff, it'd be hard to keep up. No, nah, it's all good. I'm just shouting out some of the videographers that was, um, that I work with from time to time. Shout out to Dex that just that put in this work to help put this, this art on the screen for us. You feel me? And that makes yeah. me big proud with LD visuals. And that's moving around, you know, wanting to make this a special release. Yeah, they, they, they deserve credit, too, because their jobs definitely got harder in the pandemic, all the videographers. Oh, yeah, man. More work, you know what I'm saying? Like, they still got them paid and paid to it, but nonetheless, it's still work, you know what I mean? Right. All right, so the next song, Love Nobody, you know, it's, it's about New Orleans and all that stuff. And I'm just curious, do you think that being a citizen of New Orleans, does it automatically breed PTSD? Because, I mean, if you, it seems like in certain areas, even if ain't nothing happening at that moment, you're kind of, like, always prepared for fight or flight, which yeah, over yeah. time has to be detrimental to your health. Being, uh, um, being there in the right frequency is just being there in the right frequency and vibe that you can enjoy being in the richest city in the United States. You know what I'm saying? But, you know... Whatever action turns reaction, you know, do it. Give us PS, PS, What is it again? PS postpartum. What is it again? <laughs> What's Post traumatic again? stress disorder. Yeah, give me the abbreviation again. PTSD. PTSD. Thank you. It's mean, been a minute. I think to some people it do. To some people they never seen, you know, these streets and things and, and encounters. You feel me? Um, but um, it, I believe it does, bro. I think anything will do that for you. Where I'm from, immensely. Immensely, bro. You know what I mean? Like, been through a whole lot. You know, and through the music I was able to vent, that was my therapy, and traveling the world to see my value. Um, but on top of that, yes, I do believe, yeah. I mean, you, 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 you yeah. know who the most aware, uh, the most aware cats, like, like as far as like being situationally aware and being on point and looking around and, and being yeah. kind of noited? Was when I was living in Houston when you, when you meet when you used to meet No Cast that got displaced from uh, Katrina, and, and you know I wasn't there when they first got there, but apparently there was some friction because you know they just put everybody right together where, where, where you know dudes in Houston had, had been that had been their neighborhood for years. Like some of that shit probably right. could have been thought out better, but but I noticed I, I never seen people that was as, as aware of their surroundings as those dudes who gone through Katrina down in Houston was. Yeah, listen. I remember being in the parking lot in Baton Rouge, you know, just hanging out in this apartment complex, talking to some, uh, to some friends. And I remember this lady, right? A young Caucasian lady come out. She's taking the garbage out. Garbage, you know, white plastic bag, taking the garbage out. You know, yeah, you doing this night. Man, she had a whole a gun in her hand, another hand. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know that's right, baby. Yeah. She got, the, 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 she got the thing on, you hear me? So, you know, Katrina spoke to a lot of people, man, and, you know, the world got to see what we were like. Watch that piece, okay? Be mindful of that. Um, yeah, so um, it, it, it kind of spooked a lot of people, man, and, you know, a lot of places had, I mean, in the process of thinking this is a crisis in the, in the world domestically, I, they didn't think where to put people there. They're probably just, just trying to put people wherever they could put them. You know what I'm saying? And all I mean, they was that. doing terrible stuff in Houston, though, bro. They was putting cats. It was in, like, different gangs in the same neighborhood together. Yeah, yeah, and, I mean, it, and it would seem like they could have consulted with, like, two or three people and uh, avoided that situation. Well, so once again, you know what I'm saying? Like, where's the representation Yep, exactly. from this side to be able to know that there's an open the door to talk to the representation from that side? You know what I'm saying? You're right. Like, People got to be aware of each other. Yeah, so that's what coexisting is all about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to acknowledge who you are, acknowledge your existence, acknowledge what's going on, and the same vice versa for us to live at home. And that's what coexisting is. But most people don't want to do that. That's a whole other subject, you did. But, 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah, a lot of this uh, place people ran into a lot of, you know, a lot of ups and downs on some hardships and some negative, you know, some street stuff, man. Just street shit, you feel me? I mean, there was good stories that. too. It was people that went down there, build build successful businesses, great lives in Houston. You know, everything ain't all bad, especially for man. Well, New Orleans people definitely got that bounce back factor. I mean, imagine everything you sitting around be taken away from you tonight. Yeah. Everything, everything. It's horrible. No bed, no pictures, no money, no food, everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everything. So, how could to me, to me, how could you not turn up? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yes, People sir. tell the end of the world, bro. Like I don't, I don't know if you can really process that. You feel me? Ten feet water on your street, ten feet in your house. You climbing out your roof, you, you busting a hole in your roof to get out on the roof, the hope that someone can catch you, you come get you, being up there for days, you know what I'm saying? Corpse and bodies just floating around like leaves, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a whole nother real reality, which I'm not necessarily, we ain't gotta revisit like that, you feel me? But I just want you to just process that. It don't make you right that a lot of the mayhem and shit happened, you feel me? Yeah, definitely. But I just imagine you trying to feed that beautiful little lady that just walked out the room. And those are the circumstances on your plate now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's scary, man. God God bless yeah. them. I'm glad everybody who made it, made it through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, ain't no logic behind treacherous, crazy things, but man, like, yeah, we should be able to have um, a backup plan for things that like that, you know what I'm saying? I saw um, water levels and people like, you know, why is there an exit plan if there's a flood? Where's the exit plan design? Yeah, true indeed. You know what I'm saying? Where's I mean, the I mean, the, act, the people's actions show where their priorities are, right? And you are right, my good man. You're right, you heard me? I'm trying to tell you straight up, hands up. I mean, hands down, you heard me, like, who, who's sitting around waiting for the world to flood? Yeah. Or oh, your world, my world to flood. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was devastating, my boy, like, you know? And uh, the misplacements was that it made people have to organize and figure it out. Some people did leave and go start new lives and do things. I'm happy that they did. Maybe that was just what they needed to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, but now it's, the city is thriving, it's still strong, it's not stronger, and there's a whole lot of um, out-of-towners in there. Like, that don't get showcased. You know uh, I, I've been back, New Orleans is beautiful. Yeah, 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 but it still don't get showcased. A lot of people are moving, they're starting their own lives. It's like the people move to Atlanta, New York, to LA, there's a gang of people that move to New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? And start their own new lives because of the culture, the food, the lifestyle, the weather, to be able to enjoy life year round. And they're not bothered by the things that brothers like myself at PSTD, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. They just chilling, man. Dog parks, uh, bike lanes, and shit like that, you feel me? Yeah. Stuff that didn't even exist in our neighborhoods. But at the end of the day, we all grow. You know, I mean, we all grow, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, prayers out to anybody who lost anybody during Katrina, any type of hurricane or uh, world devastation, natural causes or uh, unnatural causes, you feel me? I know people went through so much, you know me? But here we are today. That's why we survived. You know what I mean? You make it from New Orleans, you feel like you make it anyway, you know? Trying, trying to get all you can get, which, you know, that's the next song. Yeah. And, and, and you know, me personally, you know, in our in our interviews, we ain't really talked too much to the No Limit because that's been covered. But uh, I, I love me some Mr. Servon. I was excited to hear Mr. Servon no, on there. No, um, no. Ain't anybody who's a fan of good music, who was a fan of Mr. Servon, who was a fan of No Limit, I definitely love this song. I just curious if uh, you know, I've never really talked to you about Mr. Servon. You got any good stories about him or anything that sticks out? 
Uh, yeah, I got some dope stories about service. Service is always a, a stand-up guy for the label. You know what I'm saying? You know, he carries his portion of this label, no little records on his back, for what he can bring to the table. And I've always saluted him for that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, strong brother, strong uh, father, you heard me? And a hustler, he's a go-getter, you heard me? And I, I always see good in everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I've, 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 I've noticed over the years that he's been constantly getting better. So I was, I just reached out to him and asked him, you know, you want to be a part of the project, you know? And he was like, since hey, he pulled up, you know what I'm saying? He did his thing. And I'm very proud of him, you know, because everybody has their part to play post on this, you know, this, this installment, you know what I'm saying, of this 2021, you know? That's what's up, man. Shout out Mr. Servon. Yeah, yeah. And then, all right, so next we get to where were you, you know, that, that, that was a very re re reflective song. D do you think about things like that a, long, a, a, a lot? And was there like a point you felt particularly abandoned? I feel like mentally, we all at one time was abandoned. Definitely. I think people that have been in prison, had all been abandoned at some point in their life. So this song was about expressing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna focus a whole lot on who, what, why, and when, but I'm gonna focus on acknowledging myself. Where was I when I needed me? You know what I'm saying? Where were you? There's so many perspectives to that's it. That's a great way of looking at it. Yeah, man. Like, so that's the album is about. Thank God it's seen. Thank God I ain't give up on myself. Thank God I ain't for this. Thank God I got family. Thank God I got faith. You know what I'm saying? Thank God I got fans, bro. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Like. This, so this is where were you is just all them times that are going to jail, all them times I talked to dudes that's incarcerated over the years that I've forgotten about all the sisters that's forgotten about, all the people that's dealing with mental illness that's forgotten about because they think that dealing or working, not dealing, but working with them or working toward a better them is too depressing and exhausting to stick with them. You know what I'm saying? Where were you? So great song. And I'm happy to get that out. That joint was produced by Chef The Kitchen out of Memphis. Shout out to him and Jay Famous. You hear me? Check out Jay Famous. We got a lot of music out. Go Cat out of Arkansas. And um, man, for putting us together to make this joint. Because that, that's like, I remember being in Memphis and vibing on that joint and putting so many elements together. And I'm just happy to hear it now fall into where we go. Fall in place on this album, you know. Hey, while you on it, I saw on Instagram. Did, did, did you, or maybe it might have been Facebook? You you said that uh, um, the, the, this one cat produced five songs on the album. Yeah, his name is Demeca. What what's his name again, please? Demeca. Okay. M E C C A. Demeca five hundred four on Instagram. Man, if, if he produced five songs on that album, he definitely put his foot in it. So, yeah, so yeah. shout out to him. Yeah. Yeah, you know, a, a, any rappers yeah. listening to this, hit them up and buy some beats. Hey, man, any of the producers on the project, anything I'm touching, if you want this type of quality, I would advise you to get at them, get at me, so we can organize this, so you can orchestrate your thing, like, you know what I'm saying, like this body of work is done too, right? And, and I can personally testify that if, if you deal with Fiend, he just puts you in touch with the person, he ain't gonna try to up the price to get a cut, like a lot of people will. You no, know, it's just money, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we're not selling uh, vacuum cleaners door to door. You know what I'm saying? This part is too, it's too rich for me just to put some dollars on. My whole thing is to be the bridge. You know what I mean? And then, you know, the next song, How Far We Come, I feel it perfectly. Bookends, where were you? And then, you know, before we even get into any questions I have about the song, man, that, that man, Trey Woods, went off. Yeah, man, let me check this out. That's my little cousin, you hear me? Like my real, you know what I'm saying, like blood cousin. You feel me? He's out of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? And uh I'm happy to see what he's, you know what I'm saying, growing the beef. That was the whole expression of putting him on that vibe. Look how far we come. You know what I'm saying? This dude was a kid, you know what I'm saying? He was a kid, he watched me, man. You feel me? He watched right. me, bro. He watched me and watched other family members. He's just kids, bro. Whole five 
five, six, seven, nine, you know what I'm saying? And just being quiet when you come around and dab with them all and playing and, you know, you know, a little punch boxing here. And, and like, you know what I'm saying? Now he a grown man, you know, uh, living it on the West Coast, uh, supporting financing his own music career. And um, me personally, I'm proud of him. Him and my other cousin, which I almost feel like his nephew to me, you know what I'm saying? Sylvester Powell Jr. He's an amazing actor living in LA. He's also from Chicago. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, man, shout out to my guy, to Shannon Brown. He's from Maywood, Illinois. Everybody that just ever showed me love, you know what I'm saying, from, uh, from Illinois, period, bro. Uh, my Uncle James, God bless his soul. My cousin Sean, I love her so much. Medea, all my cousins from Chicago, man. Like, you know, it's I grew up, I was every summer in Chicago as a kid. I've got some pictures. I'm gonna throw it up on throwback. There is just some, some pictures that trip me out, man. Like I just, you know, what I'm saying, you know, it as soon as you see it, but until you see it, you can't even remember half this stuff. You feel me? So how far we come with a dope collaboration and the vibe between gold school, not old, gold school gotcha. and new school. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. So yeah, man. So shout out to Trey Woods, man. Very, very proud of him, and congrats on his baby girl. Uh, him and his lady from brought in the world. Very, very so proud of them guys. You know what I'm saying? Been standing up guys in 2021 for sure. So so he's got other, he's got, man, I, I got I to go check him out. He's got solo music release? He got solo music. I got a video with him on a joint. You know what I'm saying? I've been working with him. He's his own man. Like, he got his own thing, Bow Gang. You feel me? Excuse me, Bow Gang. You feel me? You feel me? Shout out to him. I'm very proud of him. He got a gang of joints. He's working. He's working. He's making noise, man. Check him out. Put some people on him because he is definitely one of the voices of that tomorrow, too. I will. I, w I was dumb impressed when I heard that. Yeah. All right. And then, and then, you know, back to the No Limit Favorites, you know, next song, Write a Check. Man, that, that was definitely Apex level uh, Mia X. You know, um, bro. I, I, I feel like when, when they talk about the greatest female rappers, that, that, that name Mia X needs to be brought up way more frequently yeah. and way yeah. more higher. I think it's a, about positioning in the United States and you know some of that saying? lingering Southern bias from like I think a lot of those strong verses earlier in her career, a lot of the rap writers probably never heard because they weren't checking yeah, independent New but, Orleans music, you know? Yeah, that's why it's good to be able to be heard in 2021. That's why I asked her. That's why I asked her. You know, that's why I asked people so they can join in to, to be on this platform. Of, of this vibe that, you know what I'm saying, like, the world gonna get it. I mean, that's, that, that song is so pimpish, bro. That, 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 that's like the type of shit that, like, if I'm gonna go to the club, I listen to while I'm getting dressed. And Joe, that's pretty easy to say that. My people said that when we was in Tampa, Florida the day on a little retreat, you feel me? They was like, man, that's that shit you play, you get ready to go to the club. You heard me getting dressed, you getting teed up, you know what I'm saying? You're ready to go to the club. So, uh, man, shout out to the, um, my, my people, Alandis and um, Alicia out there in Omaha, Nebraska. So, you know what I'm saying? On this retreat, we just had a family retreat together. Some awesome people, awesome couple. Me and my wife run with and hang with. Shout out to Candace. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my people, man, in Omaha, Nebraska, man. Major love, Rob. I see you, homie. Um, Mama DeVoe. Mama DeVoe, what up? Love you, baby. Mia, Mia actually, you know, she's definitely doing her thing with the cooking show and the, uh, the cooking products and all that, but it, it, she, do you know if she's going to be releasing more music? Because if yeah, she's spinning like um, that, she should. Yeah, we, we I, I know, I know her time, Phil. Yeah. You're in the game of the green light to, you know what I'm saying, to start um, producing on a new album with her. Oh, wow. Know so, you know, just hang tight, you know, support her at Team Whip and Pop, Team Whip Gempots.com. Go check out her season for everything. Get her rights and support her book. Support everything she has going on, along with her son Jack Joe, who is a dope MC, also from the Seven Ward of New Orleans. You heard me? No doubt. J A K K. Second word Joe. J O Jack Joe. Jack Joe. Yeah, y'all. Y'all go check that out. Five five whatever. Yeah. All right, the next song was one of my personal favorites. You put me on to him, Fendi P, Gonna Need Backup. Yeah. That, that, that's yeah. almost an International Jones song. But um, 
Man, you gotta put you and Fendi P should make a group, bro. Like not even like one, a, a joint album, but like a group. Speaking yeah. of gold school and yeah, so I'm happy you said that. I'm happy you said that because guess what? That is about making UGK proud. You know, who can I jail with to continue a legacy of brothers? Yeah, you know, of brothers. You heard me? And um, man, honest, I got a project with him. We got a project called Summer League. Is out. It's one of our first installments of a project from us together. You know what I'm saying? Check that out. You do the thing called Summer League. It's, it's an amazing body of work. You know what I'm saying? Also within the Jet Life brand. And the, I want to shout out the regime. That's the producers who produced our uh, Write a Check feature. My sister, the queen of the South, Mia X. You know what I mean? Shout out, regime. And, and yeah, then, man, Fendi P, not just the work he's done with you, the solo projects. Like you set me up with an interview with, with him for Dirty Glove Bassett, and I was just amazed that, that he had slipped by me with music, with music that good. He got song. I mean, I ain't gonna say he bodied Wayne on the song, or whatever, but he definitely held his own on on, on the yeah, track with Lil Wayne, and Lil Wayne was he, trying. Right, right. You know what I'm saying, man? Lil Wayne is always be one of the absolute goats. You know what I'm saying? That's hands down. Just putting that gold school with that new school is. Is the whole purpose, man. We got to keep that bridge up so we can make hip hop keep lasting longer, forever, forever more. So it can kind of be our bank. This is our bank. This is our our bank. You feel me? This is our Fort Knox. Hip hop is our Fort Knox. You feel me? Now I feel like, bro, like, like, like some people eat off the culture, and other people speak. Other people feed the culture, so there's more food for everybody. Respect. It's great. Uh, it's great. Uh, you get it, Mark. You get it. You know I mean, that's why I'm happy to have you involved with Who Got That Fire. Happy to be on Big Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, we just, just, you know, collaborating and gelling. Just some real guys. You know what I'm saying? Within our community and ourselves. You know what I'm saying? That we ain't scared the ball and we ain't scared the prey. You heard me? And, yes, and sir. family, man. You heard me? So that's, that's on the forefront of where we're about to go. This can exist too. Shout out to Snoop Dogg, shout out to Bun for being stand up guys to give us some of the first examples to see what that looks like. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And, and and the next song, Billion Dollar Blow Business, I mean, that, that that's just a great song. It's on point. Uh, again, I, I well, I, I don't want to assume, but I had the impression that that was an analogy as well, like, like how you said 448 was. Well, yeah, well, you know, B, 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 you know. It exists, it's real. A billion dollar blow business, you know. Uh, if not trillion, you know, billion dollar grow business. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to elaborate on this is America. You don't have to get your hands dirty somewhere, some state form or fashion. You know what I'm saying? And what you do is how you do it. And that's why this is all made for judging. Right. My music ain't for judging unless you looking to hurt what this energy was taking us. You heard me? It's all my music ain't for judging. It's to be the bridge. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be everybody that it coexists as their own people, their own being, their own dope, bad person. And so I wanted to reflect on some real shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the record industry, you know, a lot of the tricks, us. The streets trick us. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. go against each other. You know what I'm saying? And um, I wanted to just point out to us, you know, like, I could have, Imagine what it could have happened if I'd have never pursued music as much as I needed to pursue music. I wanted to let you know for real what's where my head was at. Like, you know, on you the know, non-judgment thing though, I also like how you made like you, you made a point of saying like 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 sometimes you tried everything else and, and there's nothing and, and you know, a motherfucker still got a stomach, you got kids, you gotta feed them. And if there's no options, so like that's an anti-judgment right there that like not, just because somebody's doing something that may be perceived as illegal they're not doing it for immoral reasons if you if you clean toilets so if even if you bought it you heard me i i just want to let you know like i salute you if this what it came to if this what you good at i'm not judging what the outcome do tell me what that outcome do you know what i'm saying i just wanted to just tell people man like it's all right, man. Like you've been lied to, homie. Just because I'm, just because I've been rapping for a minute, don't mean I ain't nice, bro. Just because I've been rapping for a minute, don't mean 
I ain't him. You know what I'm saying? Just because New Orleans been winning for so long don't mean that we can't still win today. The South can still do what it's going to do. You hear me? So the project is bigger than me. You know, we wanted, I wanted to break the mold of the misperception of mature rap, grown homie music, to be an adult and a dad. And like, there's no music for you out there. You're an adult and you're a mom. And like, there ain't no rap for you. There's no hip hop, no soul. You know what I'm saying? For you All out right. there. I wanted to break that mold. And I don't mean like Jay-Z and Nas don't exist. I mean the people that was 100% first influenced by Ghetto Boys, uh, UGK, Suave Howard. Too you short. know what I'm saying? Too short. The people that was influenced by this first, that are adults. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I mean? Like, I love all that. I love all close, all vibes of everybody that, that done one big because evidently there was something special in them to get to that point. You heard me? Yeah, agreed. I just wanted to represent one time to know that it's time for a new legacy of legends that probably already existed. You just feel like because somebody told you that they're not 17 or 18, that it's not worth listening to, or I don't, you know, I wanted to break that up. Nah, it's, nah, it's, that's, 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 it's my bad, my guy. Nah, it's been raining, so if anything, it's snails. It's little snails, because they've been all in the yard when it rains. This man doing the podcast poolside. You if anybody's listening to the audio version. Out, fool, boy. That's what you got the towel for, right? He, he, he's and that's the little side I'll, I'll show you in the yard where it's, where it's real, real wet at, and you'll see him. You hear me? You good? All right. Yeah, my bad, Mark. It's all good. All right. So, so you know, before before we start recording, my daughter wanted to uh, see Thing because she's been hearing me listening to his music. And uh, the reason I'm bringing this up. Is, is she really likes this this young rap, rapper artist uh that girl Lele? You ever heard of her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daughter uh, put me on a uh, little Lele. So what? So the reason I'm bringing this up is that um Paul Wall got to be the only person on earth who made a song with Fiend and Lele. Wow. Wow. How ironic, right? Yeah, because you know, next wow. song is "Flow On," where you, you I mean, I, I try to keep saying the same thing, but I guess it's because people are showing out for you, and and that was Paul Wall at his best, you know, like that 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 that, that was the still tipping Paul Wall minus you know talking about the drink, and I can get with him about the uh, not discussing opiates, you know, I I, I yeah, changed yeah. I, I changed my my original thing because you know I started seeing people getting addicted to them opiates, and I didn't want to be promoting it. Yeah, I mean, you know, you. You know, you're a solid guy, Paul Wall, solid guy. Shout out to uh, DJ Spin for producing that joint and uh, allowing me to use that cut because originally it was for DJ Spin's project, but he felt like, man, like, like when I did my part and he and Paul, he was like, man, if there's a space fits on your album, you're welcome to it. I looked at him, I said, I'll be honest. It just so happened that it gelled, you know what I'm saying? It just, it fell right where it was, man. It's out the far wall. Uh, to everything he got going on, I salute you and your family. I just think that he's a dope individual. His vibe, Slim Thug, Mike Jones, uh, the SUC, shout out to Lil O, my friend Lil O, you heard me? Uh, shout out to everybody out there. Willie D, Ghetto Boy, Scarface, so many to name Kiki. Um, man, so many people to name. I just want to just say, like, bro, I. I just dig everybody's sound on how, you know, the ones that rise to the top, they just represented it nicely. You know what I'm saying? For sure, so, sure, man. Yeah. Blow I got. On, I got to ask you walk. though. What, what? What? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if y'all say sites, but but you and amp to be too strong or worse. So what was your what was your reaction when you heard this verse the first time? Because you know, in DC, we say sites. I would I would I would been sites as shit if I heard that jump. You were sites. Yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was vegan. I thought I said to myself, "This is that authenticity." Yeah, that you don't even I, no sir. I don't need your ID to cash the check. I don't. You don't need your ID to cash the check. But I know who you are. Word, you know man, that shit made me so feel like I was on West Ham. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So that's what all I was looking to bring to the table with this project and. You know, the creator and the ancestors couldn't have done me no more justice by letting me be in the 
to bring this this real wave of street music, soul music, you know what I'm saying, rap music, hip hop, seven country things, you know, to that real forefront, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. All right, and the next song, Protect Your Energy, you know, it's an uplifting song and, and you have messages for, you know, a few groups of people. But what I want to ask you is, I notice on every album, and I, I hear every album because, you know, you don't put out like 175, but I probably heard like 125 of them. And, and it seems to me like it's important for you to uplift women on every album. Yeah, man, like Protect Your Energy, which also is produced by the method. Um, it was just me just uh, not wanting to preach, but just want to give a little appetizer of just chiming in on maybe everybody don't know how great they are. You know, everybody didn't have a mom and a dad telling them they love them at home. It don't mean that they're not loved, and it don't mean that they're not special. You know what I'm saying? So that's what protecting energy is about. You know, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Just because you don't fit into some groups of things don't mean that you're not unique and special and dope as you are. And, you know, don't sell yourself short. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. you know, I tell my kids every morning, you know, uh, what are you? You know what I'm saying? Whether they say king, queen, and I say, uh, then I say, who are you? You know, I say, who are you? Then they say, uh, who's Jones? You know what I mean? And then I say, what you were made for? And then they respond, great thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just want to keep that going. Confidence and self-love is so hard, bro. Like, a lot of people don't have self-love. And self-love is the first love you need before you can go out into the world. You know what I'm saying? And begin to love other people. Or uh, to attract love, you got to have self-love. You know what I'm saying? Or but, um, can't love no one until you love yourself. I've, I've always man, said that. You need to be in love with yourself if you could be shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, a, it's a, you know it's a horrible world. At the same time, it's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? I be trying so, to be in love yeah. with myself. You know, like when a woman marry marry a man and she love him, but she, but she gonna clean him up a little bit. Yeah. That, 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 that's how I try to be in love with myself. Like 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 I, I love myself, but I feel like yeah, I gotta clean him up a little bit every day. Yeah, yeah. See, that's how if you want to be better every day. That's appreciate and your lungs. You know, that's appreciate opening your eyes. You know what I'm saying? We got cats saying six by nine, six by eight. You know, got 23 hours down, one hour out. They don't get to do nothing but let their mind travel the world all day while their body is stuck in the physical in these in these beings. You feel me? You know, and um, are people going through mental jail? So I just want to remind people, especially young people, especially little girls, young ladies, shit, grandmas, mothers, aunts, sisters. You know, protect your energy. Young players out here that didn't know that they were special, protect your energy, the homie. They might be clowning you because you this, you fat. You know, they're clowning you because you wear glasses. They're clowning you because you look a little different. Man, you were designed how you were supposed to be designed, baby boy. Baby yes, girl, you designed how you're supposed to be. Now, you learn to love yourself, be in love with yourself, and turn up. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you need to do. You protect your energy. Bottle it up and sip from this, this, uh, Sip, sip from this every time you need this to activate your superhero within you. You know what I'm saying? You know, protect your energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and you know, I'm monopolizing this man time when he's supposed to be at the pool, so we're at the last song. Crown <laughs> me. Um, man, you, you you remember how they had that uh, Best of Mr. Womp Womp album for you at one point? Probably right. like an attempt to capitalize on already released material. Right. If right. they re if they re released that, they could they could put "Crown Me" as a bonus song because that was Mr. Want Want right there. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard, boy. Thank you, man. That's hard. That "Crown Me." A lot of people hit me on that "Crown Me," man. And um, I I just I just feel good, man. Like you know, I didn't shut down. What Your flow I was, was a little a little bit different, though. You know, it it, 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 it was aggressive. Course. Like I mean, like. It's, I hate to keep using the same words, but it, it, not even aggressive. It's almost angry a little bit, you know? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be in your face because that's how it really is in, in, in my vibe. You know what I'm saying? And balanced out where it needs to be balanced out and smooth and on certain parts where it needs to be because that's just what it is, bro. It's like a meteor. It, it, it ain't going straight. It's, it, you know what I'm saying? It's you know, it's all that. It's just frequencies. You feel me? And that's how I came with it on there. 
Well, you, you, you know, like when dudes about to fight or, or maybe about to fight, but they talking shit to each other and you can tell mm -hmm. by how the dudes is talking that if they, if they, if, they, if one of them really trying to fight or not, mm -hmm. way you was rapping on that joint, you was really trying to fight. I just want to swing my axe and hit something, Mark. You feel me? Every time I hit something with the leg point, you feel Word. me? Every time I hit my destination, every time I say it, I'm going to do something and I do it, we collect points. We collect lessons. We collect that the learning of we know we can do something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's powerful alone. I know I can do something from succeeding in it. You know what I'm saying? Because we learn from our lessons. You learn from it. You earn from it. And you learn from it. Yeah. Gotcha. And then yeah. uh, before, before we finish, though, I got to make sure I shout out uh, Dubs the Hash. My man went off on that. Yeah, it's a little home I've been working with out of Atlanta, Georgia. Solid cat, man. I've working with him for a couple of years now. Um, and my goal is to be able to work with a few acts, man, that I can give personal time to. Shout out to John fucking Doe. He heard me out there in Houston. He's from the city. He's from New Orleans, really, but he out there in Houston doing his thing. Shout out to Clyde, Clever. You know what I'm saying? Um, MVP. You know, doing major things, man. Shout out to T.Y. You know what I'm saying? T.Y. the Younger. You feel me? Shout out to Nino Calvin. You feel me? Um, so many people, bro. You know what I'm saying? D Lo Diamond Man. You feel me? Shout out to, um, man, so many people in the city. Lil Soldier Slim, you know, Jack Joe, you know, uh, shout out to, um, the Tokyo Vanity. You hear me doing her music thing. You feel me? She's on Love and Hip Hop now, but she's, um, one of our, uh, um, little hometown heroes. You know what I'm saying? Got her brand, her look, her own swag. I love it. Shout out to Super. Shout out to Judy. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody from home. Shout out to PJ Morton. You know what I'm saying? Our brother keep bringing home Grammys representing, you know what I'm saying, to the fullest. You feel me? Like everybody, man. Luke James, everybody. Tank of the Bangers, 3D19, Mia X, everybody, man. Partners in crime. Um, rest in peace, 40T. Black Minutes, Long Live Black Minutes, Devious D. You heard me, Mellow Fellow, Untouchable, Uncle E, you heard me, uh, Insane. You heard Is Mr. Me, Marcello and Kane yeah. and Abel still Mr. around? Marcello. Yeah, Mr. Marcello. I talked to Mr. Marcello last night on Instagram. Get with him, man. Uh, he's on uh, Instagram. Get with him ASAP. He got a podcast, too. Check him out, you heard me. I just wanted to shout out to some people, you know, that took their time out their day from here and there to, I, you know, either shout out, reach out to me. I can see them on social media and just take a long first step towards something that they're pursuing in their life. You feel me? Um, I got young so many Bleed. I, saw, I saw you shout out Young Bleed's birthday the other day. Yeah, man. yeah, man. Happy birthday, Juvenile. Happy birthday, Mr. Ryan, the owner of Peaches Record Store. Happy birthday to Young Bleed. His birthday, I believe, is the 26th. You know what I'm saying? Or the 25th. I just put them all together. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's major love, man. Like, you know, it's major love. This is how it's supposed to be. You yes, know, sir. we've been tricked. We've been tricked with all this division, homie. I agree. We've been tricked, man. Yeah. So this this project is about thank God it's clean. Thank God it's pink. It's yes, for sir. us, man. It's for us, homie. It's just for us, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is like direct hit. It's, it's you know what I mean? This ain't frivolously pointing my gun into a crowd. This is that I know what I'm aiming at, bro. And I'm gonna hit my target, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I want us to do in life as, as survivors, as people that's pursuing something great in their life. You know what I'm saying? New members, more stamps in the passport, more money. You know what I'm saying? And making a great life for ourselves, you know I mean? Man, we can't end it no better than that. Um, you Please shout out your socials or anything you're promoting right now. Yeah, yeah, check it out, man. Y'all let your homie, man, on Instagram, 504 Fiend, that's 504 F-I-E-N-D. Snapchat is being womp womp. You heard me? F I E N D W H O M P W H O M P. You heard me? Snapchat with them titties. No hell in that can. I'm picky. Roll up that sticky. About the land of your city. About the land of your. You heard me? I'm feeding for the money on Twitter. F I E N D, the number four. D A minor. You feel me? And you heard me, I want you to follow the illest clothing brand in the land, Sleepy Bear Teaser. You can follow Sleepy Bear, 420.com for all the illest merch. 
Follow Sleepy Bear Tees, T E E S, on Instagram. Make sure y'all hit up Jet Life Apparel for that ill shit too. You know how we coming. You heard me? And it's the big homie, man. Fiend. F I E N D. Walk. Play no games. You heard me? Boom. You feel me? We showed up so we could blow up, baby. Remember, we can only earn from it when we learn from it. Get to it. Damn, that was that was the illest outro ever. Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. The Super Facts Network, home of Jet Pop, SDE, and the Super Facts Show, now available on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from. Come check out St. Labs, G from the Shop, and Mark Walter Ward.